Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about four key traits that you will need in order to be successful in your job application process. And this applies to anyone who is currently graduating and looking to start their first full-time job, as well as people who have been working for a while and they're looking for a change. As some of you who have been following me for a while, you must have watched one of my video where I talked about how I got the company to create a new role for me while being an international student, not speaking the perfect English and not feeling confident at all. So a little bit catch up on my background. I came to the UK for undergraduate and master studies. My background was in life sciences. I did internship in research and development with pharmaceutical company. But when I was looking for my first full-time job in the UK with visa sponsorship, I struggled extremely. After applying to 70 plus companies, I was offered three job offers in which I accepted one of them. And that was with a tech startup company where I was doing marketing and business analytics. So recently I had a catch up with my manager who hired me at that time because I was curious why he made a such decision. What I was really hoping to find out is why they decided to hire me even though first, I was an international student and I need a company to spend thousands of pounds on sponsoring me the work visa. Second, I was a student. I only had an internship experience at the time as, you know, quote unquote, professional work experience. Why did they decide to hire me even though I had zero full time working, you know, professional experience? I was a non-native speaker and I only started learning English at the age of 12. I was struggling to speak and I was struggling to put my thoughts into words. And at that time, my English was really bad. So I was wondering, there must be something else that caught their attention apart from my English. So in this video, I'm going to tell you four key traits that my manager told me that made them make the decision to hire me. These are the four key traits that he said specifically that he will be looking for whichever industry he is in. He has worked in startup, venture capital, and tech industry. And regardless which career stage you are in, these are the traits that they will be looking for. So let's get started. First key trait that you need to have is curiosity, meaning that you have a huge appetite to learn things and you're willing to adapt to a new situation whenever there needs to be. And this could range from learning the processes about the company, learning about the customers that the company is dealing with, as well as the product, because you need to absorb the knowledge first before you can develop an understanding of how it works. And how you can show this trait in your job application process is during the interview, make sure you have a two-way conversation with your interviewers ask some questions and get really curious about what the company is doing, who is in the company, what's the culture like, how they incentivize, how they organize their customers and how they do marketing, anything that is relevant to the role you are applying to, you want to make sure you ask questions that is deep down. You should not ask questions that can be found easily on Wikipedia, like basic concepts, but rather you want to ask questions that is more insider related. The second key trait is the ability to learn, meaning that you will be able to pick up new skills, learn new knowledge and apply them in a relatively short period of time. The reason behind that is the business, the industry are constantly changing. So as an individual in an organization, you will need to be able to pick up new skills and learn new things depending on the season. And the ability to learn is really based on how curious you are, but also the ability to actually pick up new things and apply it. How you can show this? Make sure on your CV and during your interview, you have examples to talk about where you quickly learned a new skill. It can be learning a new software, it can be learning a new programming language, but the key thing here is to demonstrate that you have applied the knowledge to doing something and the doing actually got you results. Then the next trait you wanna have is resilience meaning that you are able to bounce back and recover whenever there is a difficult situation. 
The reason behind this is there's a lot of uncertainties and risk involved in any kind of business. Every move you make, every new initiative that you launch might not end up working. There is going to be a lot of problems and troubles or anticipated issues that is going to come your way. And as a person who can actually push through things and make things happen, you need to be someone who can take on the hardship and deal with difficult situations. How you can show it, again, find out examples where you have to work under pressure for a long period of time. For example, you can mention doing a project with multiple team members and how you persisted through different unanticipated problems and eventually how you deliver the result, for example, such as presenting to the public. Then the most important trait you need to have, I would say, if you don't have any other trait, this should be the single focus trait that you focus on on developing, which is problem solving skills. It is related to how adaptable you are because what it means that whenever a problem comes up, you should have the mindset and the right approach to solve it and being able to turn a bad situation into something good and to be able to do that constantly. You probably have experience in your personal life or in your study before. For example, when a tool that you bought stops working, then you need to be the person accountable for fixing it and making sure that it works for other people as well. Example like this will show that you are a problem solver. And the key thing as well is when a problem comes, you are in a state where you feel calm. I'm sure there will be some negative emotion associated with that. For example, being angry, annoyed, upset, and adapt a logical approach to handle these problems. And eventually using the method that you came up with, either taking out resources, lending help, or learning more about how the problem could have happened. The key thing here is you have solved a problem using a logical approach and as well you have identified where the root of cause is for the problem. Here is a pro tip for those who are more advanced in their career search which is make sure you show more than two skills in one example. So let's have a look at this example. Let's say you have designed an app for improving public speaking skills in a team of four and you have presented the solution to a public of 200 people. Can you see what skills are demonstrated through this example? Comment to let me know. Overall, these four traits are going to help you massively, especially if you don't have enough experience to back up the potential that you have. As long as you demonstrate this trait throughout your career, you will be having really successful job application process and being able to achieve the career goals you have for yourself. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe and check out my latest video on whether you should be applying to the role that is unrelated to your degree and how you can do it. So I'll see you in the next video.